So we're going to use the bearing heater to heat up these bearings, and there's a couple things that we should know about the bearing heater. One, when we heat the bearing, we need to take the probe and put it on the inner race of the bearing so that when that reaches temperature, that the inner race expands enough to slide onto the shaft. If you put it on the outside, by the time the temperature transferred from the inside to the outside, the inner race might be well over 230 degrees. So SKF recommends 230 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's what we do. We usually use the bearing heater because if we press the bearings on dry or, or cold, then we end up wearing that shaft away. This way it expands big enough to slide on, and then we can uh, save the shaft. Second of all, when, once we reach our temperature, the bearing machine will beep. It'll tell us one, that it's at temperature, and two, when it's beeping, it's demagnetizing the bearings so that once you put it in the pump, the metal particles won't attract to it. So it's important to let it beep a couple times to get it demagnetized and then install it on the shaft. So now that the, the bearing reached temperature of 230 degrees, it's beeping, demagnetizing itself. I shut it off. I take the probe and send it to the machine. Now, when you install it, you get it up on the shaft and you get it, you know, trying to get it right around the center of it. And then we just slide it back on. Oops. And then we hold it and turn it a little bit to keep it from shrinking and coming away from the shoulder. So once it reaches, the shaft reaches the temperature, the bearing cools down, the bearing will, now the inner race doesn't turn anymore. So we know that we got it locked where it's supposed to be. So then we let it cool down. This one happens to run on grease. So once this cools down, then I will pack it full of grease.